Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depends upon when you're watching it. Um, right now it's uh, 1230 uh, at um, uh, where I'm at in Florida. Uh, this is the first time that um, uh, I've taken the RV to a campground and, and set up. Um, and uh, so this is, will uh, be a, a beginning uh, deal uh, for all of us. Uh, my name is Roger Hill. I, uh, you don't know me. And I don't know you either, so this kind of starts us off even. You will begin to know me, hopefully, as the old man in his van. Uh, this is a, a bucket list kind of thing. At 79, I decided that I wanted to tour the United States and see <clears throat> some of the things that didn't get to see the first time around. Didn't have time, uh, business pushed. Uh, when you're on vacation with your kids, you're looking for rabbit ears and duck bills. And so it's hard to see some of the things and take some of the time that you'd like. So that's kind of what this is all about. I was going to call it the old man in his van and the American adventure. And I guess that will still will go well, very well. The van that started out to be what was going to be the traveling mode has changed into a uh, 32-foot motorhome. So, therefore, the, the whole concept has changed a little bit, but it's a, kind of for the good because I'm much more flexible this way. I can go and stop and uh, as, uh, as things dictate. Uh, we'll give you a tour of the van next time around. Still in the process of getting stuff moved in and arranged and all that. We'll let you see the outside, what it looks like. It is not a new one. It is a vintage van. And um, so hopefully, old man, old man, hey, we'll get along good. Um, it has creaks and groans, and so do I. I am awaiting surgery on my knee, a second surgery, and uh, actually a third surgery. And uh, as a result of that, I'm walking with a walker. It doesn't uh, bother to drive, but you can't walk as, as stably as you'd like. Uh, because the uh, tendon that uh, that tore, the knee healed fine, tendon tore, had to take the knee out because it got infected, so kind of walking um, on two pieces of concrete instead of eggshells, and that is a fact. Ask your doctor. In the background of this picture, you will see one of my daughter's wedding pictures. Uh, this is kind of the wall of fame behind me here. I want you, like I said, you'll see a tour of the van either in the next or the next video after that. Um, but what I'd like to do is travel and see the things in the United States that I missed the first time around. Uh, see things that, uh, from a di little different perspective maybe, everybody tours uh, 66, uh, uh, Spanish Trail, and those kind of things, all the parks, and we're going to do that. But I'd like to approach it a little different. Um, there's so much more to the history that's in the past on these places than, um, uh, than I think is, is kind of pointed out. So um, they would like to, uh, when I know the exact area I'll be, I'll let you know if you've got any family in that area or, or family history there. It'd be kind of interesting to know the store that's boarded up is just not a building with boards on the window. That was somebody's life. That was their livelihood. That was families were were raised there. Uh, and uh, it'd be kind of interesting to see some of that. Also, uh, you see a beard here. I don't like it. Neither does anybody else. I just decided I was going to grow it for a little while. And uh, so I guess I was thinking gray beard, old man, van, all goes together. Uh, we'll see. I don't think it's going to last very long. Hopefully, uh, can make this interesting enough that maybe some of you will want to watch. Uh, my purpose in doing the videos is just so the kids know where I'm at and what I'm doing. Uh, you know, when they were little, you wanted to know where they're at and what they're doing. When I was, uh, I'm old, they think they ought to know too. So, with that in mind, uh, that is the press up of this. Uh, that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, uh, next video, we'll show you the outside and the van that it is and, and uh, give you a little bit more information. Right now, the only place that's clear at all is the place I'm sitting here where you're seeing. 
So, with that in mind, I want to thank anybody that's watching. I want to thank my family for the support they've given me. At 79, you kind of wondered whether they would be uh, uh, as supportive of me traveling and seeing these things and, and all, as uh, I was very surprised. They were very well that way. Either that or they're glad to get rid of me for a while. I don't know. Anyway, so with um, all the things that I've told you, um, uh, remember, I'm, not, I'm strictly an amateur at this. I know nothing about running drones and editing and all that, so what you want to see is not going to be near as professional as some of the others, but um, you might relate to it a little bit. Um, would like to visit some farms and ranches along the way. Some of the people that I've watched on YouTube, um, and some people that do a lot of exploring and, and all uh, particularly want to spend time in the um, southwest uh, and uh, the desert and uh, uh, some of the folks out there. So that will give you a brief summary or brief idea of what's going on. So I really want to remind you that, um, you know, as you go down the road of life, it's a pretty straight path but where the surprises come is when you make a turn and that's kind of what we want to do we want to go down the road I say we it's me myself and I uh, go down the road and uh, see what we see along the way meet people along the way have conversations get some history maybe um, but also want to remember that life's an adventure Adventure is uh, what this is, and so as I was saying in the beginning, an American adventure, but you'll see where the adventure comes in later. Um, but um, what you also realize or know that, um, you know, when you wake up in the morning, God's granted you another day, and as a, he expects you to make something good out of it. So each day when you get up in the morning, even though you got issues to deal with, problems to deal with, and I'll try to remember the sort of other people. I have problems with that sometimes. You kind of think you're the only one that's got a problem. But uh, there's people that do, and they need your support. So be good to them. Be kind to them. Remember that God gave you that day. He expects you to make something good out of it. So with that, I'll say goodbye on this first one. Uh, thank you if you're watching it. I'm sure some family members are watching it. And um, if any of the rest of you do, I guess you're supposed to say, you know, like uh, um, and do all the rest of that stuff. I'm not sure we're set up at that point yet uh, with YouTube uh, to do that. But when we are, I'll make sure you know it and your comments would be welcome. Um, the email is tractorfd at aol.com to reach me now until we get the YouTube deal all uh fixed up so I know what to tell you to do there. So God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you around the bend or down the road. So long.